The new Apple TV. I think this is the most important Apple product of the year. And let me tell you why. So initially from the onset, the new Apple TV isn't very different from the last Apple TV. Really all the 4K Apple TVs are kind of the same. You have the original 2017 one, which is pretty much identical to the 2021 one with the exception of a new chip. And more importantly, they introduced the new Siri remote with a great aluminum design, has a big Siri button on the side. It's honestly is probably one of the best things to even happen to the Apple TV product line. Then with the third generation of the 4K, they really didn't change much else. It's got the same Siri remote, a little bit of a smaller design. However, most importantly, it did something major with the remote. They added a USB-C port to it. Now, why is this important? If we look at any Android phone like the Pixel series, they all use USB-C. The iPads use USB-C. The MacBooks have used USB-C since 2016. USB-C is this de facto standard for Apple on some of their products, not everything. It has been lacking from iPhones forever, and it's kind of a catch-22. Apple hasn't likely progressed to USB-C on the iPhones due to the fact there hasn't been a need, and when they went from 30 pin to lightning, there was a lot of dismay, as now all of your Apple-specific cables and accessories like them good iHome iPod docks just don't work anymore. And now you gotta buy all new ones, and that upset a lot of consumers. And doing the same thing to USB-C would likely do it. Think of how much money you've spent on bullshit lightning cables that cost $20. It's absurd. And the worst part, most of these cables plug into USB-C chargers. So it's not like you don't have the USB-C, you've just spent a bunch of money on the cables. However, this remote having USB-C on it is significant because it shows Apple is more than likely going to convert the entirety of the rest of their product lines to USB-C and this awesome unified standard. And with that across the board, you'd now be able to use the same cable on your iPhone, iPad, MacBook, really everything with the exception of the Apple Watch. It's possible they may even bring it to the next generation of AirPods. This is further reinforced by the somewhat controversial EU ruling, where their commissioner, as well as a number of their member states, agreed that Apple must support USB-C on the iPhone by 2024. Now, it is possible Apple may not comply is it's not unheard of for them to just deal with and pay fines. In Brazil, for the longest while, Apple just paid fines to the government for selling iPhones without a charger. Sure, it might be $19 million over the course of a couple years, but that's a drop in the bucket for this trillion dollar mega corporation. So it's not unheard of for them to just accept the fines. And it's possible they may do this in the EU case. Although I think it's rather unlikely with the mounting pressure from right to repair, the ruling of the EU and the fact they're actually putting USB-C on other products that haven't had it since their inception. While this is a small change on a product more than likely none of you use, it is a monumental one because I believe we will see the next set of major released Apple products have a USB-C port and comply with this unified standard. Hopefully in the next year with the iPhone 15, we will be able to use one cable for all of our devices and take advantage of those lightning fast speeds. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for this ruling and if you want USB-C to come to the new iPhone or if you're happy with lightning how it is. Be sure to like and subscribe for more.